Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's example, we're going to be doing problem number two from the CUNY Elementary Algebra Final Examination for me. Uh, the second problem here is talking about square roots. And in there, in this problem, we're going to be using distribution uh, to solve and evaluate this problem. Now, when we take a look at the problem, we have the square root of 5 times the sum of the square root of 3 plus the square root of 5. So the main problem we have here is that we want to start with the parentheses, and we see that we can't do anything with them. The reason why we can't do anything with them is because they are not the same type of square roots. The only time we can add square roots together is if they're the same type of square root. If I had two square roots of three, I would have two square I would have the sum of two square roots of three. Right? This would become two square roots of three. One square root of two, three plus another square root of three would be two square roots of three. In this case, we can't do that because the values are actually different and we can't add them up. And so we're just going to have to leave them alone and move on to the next operation. And our following operation in this case is going to be multiplication, which is going to take place through a distribution. So we're going to multiply each term times the square root of 5. And the way it's going to look is this. We're going to have the square root of 5 times the square root of 3 plus the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 itself. And the distribution takes place as so. Now, when we're multiplying square roots, what we want to do is take the outside number, which is a 1 on the 5, and the outside number of this one, which is also a 1, and multiply them, those two together, which would just become 1, and then multiply the inside numbers together as well. When multiplying square roots, whatever you have inside would multiply against whatever else is inside. So this becomes a square root of 2 times 4 which becomes the square root of 8. In this case, we have the square root of 5 times the square root of 3. And over here, we have the square root of 5 times the square root of 5. So this becomes 5 times 5. Now this here gives us 15. And over here, we get 25. And this actually has a square root value, why this one doesn't, right? So we're going to have the square root of 15 plus just 5. 25 is a perfect square, and the square root of 25 is also 5. And so this would be our final answer. And let us not forget that if this is not what you see on your solutions for the problem, that these are actually commutative. And by commutative, I mean if I'm adding the square root of 15 plus 5, I could also say it's the same thing as this 5 plus the square root of 15. And there you go. That's our solution. Thank you.